High school freshman Nibby Ballon observes what goes into making a Kevlar vest at the Army's Picatinny Arsenal's third annual Introduce a Girl to Engineering event. When I was younger, when I heard engineering, I thought of, oh, a guy's supposed to be an engineer. And that's why Picatinny opens its house and puts its female engineers in the products they design, make, or modify on display so these high school girls with their mothers or fathers in tow from all over New Jersey could poke, prod, and probe for answers about college and careers. 3D printing of artificial limbs fascinates Tasha Jackson. Here, she sees how to apply that in becoming a veterinarian and helping animals. Well, the thought of making something that's not invented yet and the possibilities of all that stuff in the future, it's like really cool. Trinity Ramakrishna sees how to apply the math and physics from school to her passion. What makes you want to design? Just to create new objects that are useful in daily life. Again, we're excited about you being here today. Picatinny's commanding general brought his daughter. So, so we're going to make our way around and, and see if they can convince her to, uh, to switch from medical to engineering. Picatinny attorney Larry Brady brought his daughter. What is it about chemistry that you love? I started taking it this year and everything we've done so far I found really interesting. I would not want her to be an attorney. I would like her to, to go, you know, in the science field. I think there's a lot more opportunities and, you know, uh, I see the engineers here. I work with them and they seem to be the happiest people here. They have fun. They have fun. NJIT grad and Picatinny engineer Marie Phillips explained how she enhances the spider munition system. It replaces landmines. You can remotely turn it on or off. So engineering like can improve lives and I like that. I want to be a part of that. Tara Kinneman and Laura Batista are product managers responsible for taking the latest technology to modify and improve standard weapons such as the 50 caliber machine gun popular in video games and on the battlefield. So that's what you guys are doing, yes. not, not men who you work with, but you're doing. That's yes, because right. we, we're product we directors, so we make the decisions, you know. We lead the teams. We lead the teams. We um, coordinate everything, manage schedules, budgets. I mean, hundreds of million dollar budgets. Back in high school, when they talked about becoming engineers, the guys said. <laughs> I don't think they thought much. I yeah. think it was more, what do you mean? If I like trains a lot. And I'm like, no, that's not really that's what this one. is. <laughs> of the nearly 3,000 engineers at Picatinny's Armament Research, Development and Engineering Center, 10% are women, a fact not lost on these girls as to why and their futures after this. Maybe they don't know enough about it to be interested in it. That's what I think. So now I feel like girls should be more educated and realize engineering can be for women also, like you can see all around. The male-dominated military fostering a fertile field of opportunities for females interested in engineering careers with this invitation-only open house that's doubled in attendance and interest since last year. Michael Hill, NJTV News.